This is the fifth attempt I'm trying to make this damn video. The phone is rung two times. I've been interrupted, stopped. Ugh, just, ugh, just want to fucking do this already. How's everybody doing? It's Seacole 45. I'm annoyed right now because of this freaking thing. Is I've been attempting this video so many damn times. But let me get to this actual freaking video, and hopefully we can get this done. So let me, before I get into this update review that the title's all about, I want to say two things that I don't like about updates, any update. First thing is, I lose my replays. When I have videos planned and I'm busy for school or I got a lot of homework, I can't record, I'm like, oh, I'm free, I could do it, and then, boom, here comes maintenance break, bam, there goes my replays, and I lose a lot of videos. So that's one thing that sucks ass. The other thing that really bothers me is it, we, is it pushes war back. Fall Masters declares war at 8 p.m. New York time. So it's usually between 7.45 and 8 o'clock p.m. New York time or Eastern Standard Time if you're in the United States. Right now, I'm recording this video. It says 8.39 p.m. on my computer. I Because I, I have recorded my computer, by the way. So the war is supposed to be finished 40 minutes ago. And if the war was done, we would have won. But now these guys got another hour and 25 minutes to pull off their attacks. And they got a lot of attacks. Like that, you can see 11 attacks. These guys are doing really good. Shout out to them at Ivory Coast. You guys are doing great. No wonder you're a level 6 clan. You guys are great. Good job. You got a nice tunnel. You know, it was a nice go-ho you did on a cat. I watched it. It was a nice attack. But yeah, they weren't able to beat me. But I was able to beat him and I lost that replay, which kind of sucks. But I was able to 3-star their number 2, which was good. So I had a very... I'm very happy with my performance in this war. So, very good. And, yeah. So, let me get into the updates. So the first thing is, since we're in war right now, um, the key to the winning the war, it shows total destruction right here. Uh, we average more total destruction. Wait. Hold on a second. For them, an average is 75.7. And that, then down here, 84.1. What? Look at that. There's two different numbers. Wait, maybe it's total destruction and average destruction is maybe, maybe they're different measures. But, yeah, 82.8 and 75.7. What? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just had no fucking idea why that's like that, but okay. So if we tie this war and hopefully our total destruction remains above theirs, which I don't like the look of it right now, then we win. If we have more average destruction than them, or total destruction, whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, we win. I wish there was, like, tiebreakers where they were, like, Supercell would pick, like, it would be, like, I don't know, six hours, and what they would do is they would have, like, the, they would pick two evenly matched bases from each town hall level, but let's say there's a clan with, like, one X, like, a town hall level above or town hall level below, it wouldn't use that town hall level. So, clan has to have each town hall, like, for example, the clan is town hall 10s, 9s, and 8s, and eights, and the other clan has a 7, but 10, ten 9, and 8. The 7s don't get represented, because there's no town hall 7s. So, town hall 10, a town hall 9, and a town hall 8. So, they pick the most even match between the two, and whoever gets more stars and the tiebreaker wins, and if that doesn't win, then the average destruction should win. But, yeah... That's what's my opinion, but I do like the average destruction. That does make sense. That means every fucking percent in your attacks, values, don't after you get 50%, don't end the battle. Try to pick off as many buildings as you can. Try to waste every, the three minutes of your attack of getting every single percentage point because in the end, it can make a huge ass difference. Last war uh, that we tied, I checked our um, average destruction to see who would have won in the update, and we had the exact same. It was 72.4. We had the exact same, so I think we would have tied, which is crazy. So that's pretty funny that we had the exact same average destruction in our war and tied stars. That's pretty crazy. But, yeah, so now let's get into the other content of this update. So the first thing is the new walls. We got 25 walls of Town Hall 10. And I wish they added this a little bit later because I got like 25 walls left. And now I got another fucking 25 walls to upgrade for to level 8. Which is going to be annoying because I can't start my expo. So I was looking forward to be done with these stupid friggin' walls. I'm so close and now I got another whatever, 25 to upgrade. So 
fuck. You know, but that's the good thing about the new walls is you can make better bases because you got more compartments, you know, more room to do something crazy. And hopefully these new walls make Town Hall 10 base designing a little bit very effective. Because right now, base designs at Town Hall 10 are really good. I mean, really, really, really good right now. Like, I've never seen the bases so well made now. Like, I see people two-star it, but you have to be a phenomenal attacker to be able to two-star those bases. Because I see pretty good attackers, and they can't do it. And that's scary. Like, uh, if you guys watch Brandon, that guy who's like level 310, the poor guy, he can't even two-star that poor guy. He doesn't two-star much, and he's at like 4,900 trophies. He probably would be at Legends by now if he two-starred every base, but I feel bad for him. He must win a decent amount of defenses because that must be painful, you know, one-starring, and, you know, I, I don't really know. But, yeah, another thing is, or another thing that's really not in there is they made the signs kind of like how they used to. I don't like them. I like the new signs. They look nice. I don't know why they don't have a one, though. That was kind of like it was, but I do recognize the signs because, obviously, the majority of my Clash career was with these signs. But I the, the emblems or whatever the fuck you want to call them. But, yeah, like, see, it, that looks like the normal update, like the 2458, right? You see that? That's what it looks like, and then in the chat it looks weird. So I don't know why it looks like that, but they'll, I'm guessing they're going to fix that. Because I remember they fixed that. Well, let me look at the top players. Let me see if Titan 1 kind of looks like that. Hold on. Yes, it does. Now, the next thing I want to show is the level 11 walls. There's level 11 walls. I don't like them. I just don't like them. I, if you guys like them, you're entitled to it. I love the blue walls, but... You know, they look cool. I like the look of them, but I like the blue walls better. But hopefully, if they're going to bring level 12 walls to Town Hall 11, hopefully they will be that nice blue, because I love that blue. That blue was fucking awesome. I love it. But yeah, as you can see, this base is phenomenal. It's either this base or ringed base are the two best designs in the game. I'm considering the fact of changing my war base to this, but we'll see. But I've two-starred ringed bases and this before, but we'll see. So, yeah, the other thing is, I don't know if they gemmed it. Yes, they gemmed the level 7 lightning spell. So, this guy did gem it. I'm not sure if he's going to use it in any of his attacks. No, we, I'm assuming not. But level 7 lightning can almost, can 2 hit a max air defense and almost 2 hit it. And almost 2 hit a max air defense and 2 hit a level 7. So, that's great. You know, for dragon attacks, you can go lightning, lightning, quake, and bam, you got an air defense now. So, you know, that's pretty damn good, you know. You know, we're telling all that, man, that's going to be phenomenal. Or you can just go lightning, lightning, quake, and then hopefully you could take out like level air, air defenses, and you could bring like a rage spell, and you could have like two air defenses down, and something crazy. You could have a haste spell, and you could have like, you know, like three air defenses down, which sounds insane, but that's crazy. But yeah, level seven lightning spell. Level six was moved to Town Hall nine. It's six million and ten days rather than eight million and fourteen. I'm assuming eight million fourteen will be the uh, level seven lightning spell. And yeah, I know they got a, I know it's not as spread out as it used to be, and the lightning spell is not, and it's gonna does a little bit more damage at level five, six, and obviously seven is gonna do. Obviously, there is no new de more damage at level seven because this is the level seven lightning spell. So now we could freeze uh, air troops in the CC. So you could freeze air troops in the CC. Let me see this. You could freeze air troops. You could your quakes do. And, uh, Poison Spell is kind of like a single Inferno. Let me see if that guy... Let me see if he froze my dragon. Let me look. Because I don't have my attack. Because I attack pre-update. I just want to see. Hold on. Let me watch this. Oh, no. I Never mind. Never mind. He didn't freeze the air troops. I'm sorry if my voice just skipped. I was just trying to sh see if, um... I don't know if my voice skipped or not. Because of the lag. But, um... I, I remembered, I watched his attack, and I remember he didn't freeze my air troops. That's just because you can freeze air troops now, which is nice. And I'm wondering if they're going to try new troops in the CC other than Lava Hounds. Lava Hounds actually don't attack uh, ground, uh, I'm sorry, air troops anymore. So that's going to be interesting for Lava Lunion users. But I don't think that's a good thing, because that sucks. Because that means when you're coming out, the CC comes out, the fucking Lava Hound isn't going to even come out. Like, that's bad. Like, when you're chopping your heroes for the town hall, that's just, that's, to be honest, I think it was better the way it was. That's even worse. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's even worse than what it was before. Because when you're dropping your king and queen towards the town hall, 
the hound is going to come out like balloons. You know, that's going to be terrible. I don't know how that people are going to go with that. But I don't like the look of that for air attackers, especially that use heroes to destroy the town hall. I don't, I don't like the look of that. But you know what? I'll watch. You know, because I do have access to top player gameplay for YouTube. I wish I could watch it, but of course, unfortunately, I don't have any top players in my clan. But because you know, there's no way we're getting the top player. But very interesting. But I'll see how that goes. So. I think I covered everything, and yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the new update. If you guys, how are you guys liking the update so far, drop it in the comment section down below, and uh, tell me, guys, what you think they're going to reveal at ClashCon, because at ClashCon, they're supposedly going to reveal some gigantic update, so I'm thinking one of two things, Tunnel 11 or some Clan War tournaments or something, it's going to be a huge update, so hopefully... It's going to be something A, Tunnel 11, or B, I'd rather clan more tournaments to Tunnel 11, because personally, I want to hit Titans League before I get Tunnel 11, but we'll see. That'll be all figured out, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the video, and I'm done. See you guys very soon. Peace out.